there's a new Topaz product coming somewhere around September of 2022. It's called Topaz Photo AI. There's an early access beta out there that can be downloaded if you own the image quality bundle. I want to take a first look at it today. It incorporates Topaz Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI all in one piece of software. We're going to take a look at that today. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I have something new and exciting to show you today. There's a new piece of Topaz software coming out called Topaz Photo AI, which incorporates Gigapixel AI, Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, all in one great piece of software. And from my early testing, I think it's going to be a welcomed piece of software is going to really speed up your workflow. It's going to take out a lot of confusion of how to use these products. I'm going to give you a first look today, so sit back and relax. And by the way, there's a really good sale going on at Topaz Labs right now. You can get the image quality bundle, save $99.98. You'll get Gigapixel AI, Sharpen AI, and Denoise AI all in one great bundle. It's on sale for $159.99. Plus, you can use my promo code David Kelly and save an additional 15% off all that. If you already own one or two pieces of this bundle, you can go ahead and complete your bundle at a reduced savings and also use that promo code David Kelly for that as well. Plus, if you have the image quality bundle, meaning you own all these pieces of software, you get early access to Topaz Photo AI, which I'll be showing you today. It is really cool. And I think this is going to be something we're all going to be excited about. The sale is going on now up until August 12th of 2022. So go ahead and grab that. Click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. It'll take you right to that sale. And don't forget to use that promo code David Kelly to save an additional 15% off. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Now you can work in a raw format with Photo AI, or you could just launch it right from Lightroom, which is what I'll be doing today. If you'd like to see how to work with a raw format, let me know in the description below and I'll make a video on that. But for now, I just want to jump right into Photo AI. So what I'm going to do is, and I just want to show you, I have basic adjustments here. I added a little bit of a tone curve adjustment. Um, as far as lens corrections, I always use remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. And under detail, I have no sharpening and no noise reduction, and that's it. And now all I have to do is uh, right click on the image, go to edit in, go down to find photo AI, give that a click, and then this dialog comes up. I'm gonna edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I always use TIFF, it's a lossless format. Pro Photo, 16-bit depth, and a resolution, I usually use 360, but 300 is fine as well. I use 360 because I have an Epson printer, no compression, and then just click edit and we'll go right into Photo AI. And welcome to Photo AI. Now remember, this is beta, and if you have the image quality bundle, you can download this beta and try it out yourself. And I'm really enjoying this. It works really well. And I got to tell you this, they're constantly doing updates. So you might want to check it on a weekly basis and keep grabbing the new updates, you know, as they work out little things, work the bugs out, add new little features to it or whatever. So it's evolving. I get comments on my YouTube channel and people are asking, do I use Denoise AI first or second or Sharpen first or second? And when does Gigapixel come into the picture? Well, guess what? There's no more guessing with Photo AI. It figures it all out for you. It's super easy. Welcome to Autopilot. You see up here where it says Autopilot and right now that's checked on. And it tells us some things. The image is out of focus. The image noise level is low. No faces are detected. It does that all for you. And remember, you can also upsize your image right while you're in here, which is really incredible. Now, here's what this means. It's out of focus. You'll notice it's only using Sharpen AI. And this tells you all the different settings that it's using here. Now, you can go and readjust things in all of these pieces of software. But it's not, if I click right now and remove noise, nothing happens because it's in this autopilot setting. Now you can set your filters up to be auto or you can do them manually, okay? But right now we're just using Sharpen AI. And if you notice down here, see where it says resize? 
you have scale, width, and height. Now, all you have to do is type a number between one and six and it'll upscale it. Or you can just type in the width that you want, like your pixel count. You know, like say if I wanted to make a 10,000 wide pixel count and then it will automatically adjust the height to keep the actual aspect ratio of the image. I'm not going to get into the resize today, but I mean, we could right now, if we wanted to upsize this two times, I can just type in two right here. In fact, let me do that. I'm just going to type a two. Now watch the width and the height change. When I type a two, you see how they doubled. Okay. So, and to put it back, I'll just go and type one here. I have a hunch they'll be adding some other features to this resize here, but you see where it says enhance here. Let me shut off autopilot to show you this real quick. Inside of enhance, you have natural graphics and low resolution. So you do have options in here, but again, I believe the autopilot will kind of detect what type of an image you have. That's my guess anyway. I'm not going to be upsizing this image, but I want to show you there's different ways of viewing here. You can see a before and after by clicking this eye. There's your before and there's your after. Or you could do a split screen and then you can drag this line across and see the before and after that way. Or you could do like a side by side comparison. Now gone is all the comparison views because I'm telling you the way I see it, this piece of software is doing pretty much everything for you. It's making it very easy for you. Let me go back to the uh, split view because that's what I really enjoy. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see here. I'm going to zoom into 400% so you can really see, see the noises removed and see how sharp that leaf got, which is pretty incredible. This is on auto. All my filters are set for auto. I'm on autopilot, which is really nice. I'm just sitting back and relaxing and letting this software do all the work for me pretty much. It's pretty much bring it into here, leave it on autopilot and maybe nine times out of 10, that's all you have to do. Cause it's going to look at your image, examine it. It's going to tell you, do you have excessive noise? Do you have sharpness issues? Now it only is using sharpen AI. Cause remember sharpen AI has denoising built right into it. And if it doesn't need to use both denoise and sharpen, it's not going to do it. It's only going to use what it needs to get the job done, which is really cool. Face recovery is not working because there is no face that it found in it. And again, we're on autopilot. Now, if I shut auto off here, see where it says all filters. And if you click this little carrot here, you can collapse this or open it up. If I shut auto off, it's going to let me go and make my own adjustments. Now, right now, it's not letting me do anything in here because I'm in autopilot, right? I'm going to shut autopilot off. And now when I open up the filters, you'll see there's all my filters. Now, sharpen is opened up and you'll notice it's turned on because the autopilot turned it on. But once you shut autopilot off, you have complete control of the entire process yourself. Now you'll notice in sharpen autopilot determined I had a lens blur issue. If I thought, I don't think you're right, photo AI, then what I can do is go ahead and click on motion blur, give it a second to update. And you see in the lower left-hand corner, it's doing its little update. And you know what, by George, I think it's right. So I'm going to go back to lens blur. And now that looks better. And all you have is a strength slider. So if you want it sharper, move it to the right like this. If you want it less sharp, move it to the left. Or take that autopilot setting. I'm going to set it back to where it was, where autopilot figured it out to be at 41. And I think that's right. Now, if I want to add noise reduction, which I don't, I'm zoomed into 400% and you can see there is no noise. But if I clicked on remove noise, it turns on and there's two types of noise reduction, normal and strong. Strong is for those really high ISO images. And I tried it on a ISO 25,600 image and it was outstanding. And if you want to see a tutorial where I show that to you, let me know that in the comment section below, but it was incredible, I gotta say. But also you have a strength adjustment in here as well. But Autopilot says I don't need noise reduction and I agree with Autopilot, so I'm gonna shut this off. Now, if I wanna get back to the Autopilot settings, just click on Autopilot again. And again, it tells me image is out of focus, image noise level is low, so it didn't need to use uh, remove noise or that's actually denoise AI and there were no faces detected. So it came in here, it was on autopilot, and I could have simply went save to Lightroom and I would have been done. It's just that quick. You don't have to think, which product do I use first? Do I have to get in here and change these settings? I mean, if you're satisfied with the look on the screen, you don't have to touch anything. If you're not, just shut off autopilot and click on 
remove noise or whatever adjustment you want, face recovery or whatever, you're in complete control here. But if you were happy with those initial autopilot settings, turn autopilot back on and that's it. Now you'll notice when autopilot is on, if I click on any of these adjustments, nothing happens because it's all auto. So they locked it down. And don't forget about your split screen. We can drag this to the right and look at all that noise and how out of focus it is. I drag this to the left and look at things just clear right up. But there it is. And again, it takes all of the guesswork out of what product to use first, second, or whatever. It's all right here. Plus gigapixels in here for crying out loud. I think that is great. All these great AI pieces of software in one piece of software called Photo AI. If you think this is a great addition to Topaz software, let me know in the comments section below. I really think it is, but I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Here's my observation about Photo AI. I think it's going to really, and I mean really, speed up our workflow because all we have to do is send our image into here. And with Autopilot, I think nine times out of 10, we'll be satisfied with the denoising and sharpening results. And hey, don't forget, Gigapixel is right in here too. To me, this revolutionizes the way we denoise, sharpen, and upsize our images. Why should we have to spend so much time doing that? Now we don't have to. Now we can get back to the actual editing of the image, which is really, to me, where the joy of editing all comes in. Denoising, sharpening, and upsizing are all very critical, but they're not fun things to do. So we can take care of that stuff really quick now that we have Photo AI. So I was in Lightroom, I come in here, had autopilot turned on. Now all I have to do is click save to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And then I could get on with the fun stuff, the stuff that I call the joy of editing. And for that, I'm grateful for this new piece of software. And now it's time to click on save to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And I'll let this render out in real time so you can see how fast this takes. I'll put my information about my computer up on the screen. Mileage may vary, but I got to say, I am a big fan of photo AI. And now we're back in Lightroom. It's just about done. And now here we are. Let's do some pixel peeping. I'm going to go into the library module, get rid of the side panel here. I'll select both images by command or control clicking on the image that isn't selected. I'm going to go into XY comparison mode. And let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm zooming into 300%, and the image on the right is the unsharpened, undenoised image. The image on the left is the sharpened and denoised image. But look how clear it is. Compare the noise, how clean it is back here, and how sharp it is. I am really totally satisfied with this. And again, think of how your workflow will be sped up with this new piece of software by Topaz, Photo AI, coming out sometime in September. But if you have the image quality bundle, don't forget that you can go ahead and download this early access beta and try this out for yourself. And I'm sure you're going to be satisfied with it because I know I am. And if you are, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you're not, let me know that as well. If you enjoyed my tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.